Hey guys, this is Shane here from Echo Soundworks. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a custom clap from scratch using Serum. So this is gonna be a sound design video where we look at how to create an analog style clap like a TR-808 or a 909. Now, I'm not gonna be recreating that sound, trying to do like a one-to-one -one recreation of it. I'm just gonna show you how you can create cool analog style claps in Serum. So let's dive right in and get going. All right, so quick little side note before we get into the actual, the meat and potatoes of this tutorial. If you guys wanna download 12 free synthesized analog style claps in Serum, link will be in the description. Basically, when I was putting together this video, I went overboard and I made, I think, 12 clap sounds in Serum. Had a little too much, little bit too much fun doing it, so I'm just gonna release those for free. So if you're a house producer, tech house, any of that, those sorts of genres, I think these claps are actually going to fit right into a lot of your tracks or productions. You can see here are the claps here. I'll go through and play a couple right now. I like this one a lot. That one's cool, got a vintage vibe. All right, so before we get into the actual serum part of the video, let me quickly run down to this drum rack I've loaded up where we have the default 808 kit loaded. So when we think of like a classic, classic synthesized clap, 808, 909 comes to mind, right? So here's the classic Roland TR 808 clap. Now I wanted to show you this because just looking at the waveform of this clap is gonna give you a lot deeper understanding of why we're gonna do the things we're gonna do in Serum in a couple minutes, or hopefully not a couple minutes, maybe about 30 seconds. So you can see here that this clap is actually, it's kinda of like three sounds in one. We have two transients that each sound different. It's like a little click, here's the second transient, and then here's the body of the clap, right, in the tail. So those three things make up the clap. Now you'll notice that that's the case with almost all electronic claps. It's not just one transient and then the, you know you see the decay of the body and the tail. It's usually these two or three sounds. And that's because if you think about a human clap, humans don't clap in isolation. And if you do, <laughs> I don't know, you got you got problems. But most of the time when we're clapping, it's in a group of people. And when you're clapping in a group of people, you hear different transients, you hear different parts of the sound, right? So I'm assuming that's what makes it have that clap sound. So here's the clap that I made in Serum, and you can see it has those three elements. And this is the one that we're gonna basically be reverse engineering in this video. And you can see that it does have the same pattern, right? We have a couple transients and then the body of the actual clap. All right, so here's the actual preset we heard in the beginning of the video. Now, before we go back and reverse engineer this patch, let's quickly just run over a general signal flow that you could use in pretty much any synth to create an analog style clap. And that signal flow is pretty simple. You're gonna to need to start with some type of noise source, maybe white noise, bright noise, you know, something that's gonna have that high frequency, uh, basically the high frequency timbre of a clap. Now from there, it's helpful to have an LFO or an envelope where you can create easily create a custom shape and really dial in the rate and just the shape and speed and how it plays back. So in Serum, that's the LFO, not the envelopes. In certain synths that maybe use a multi-segment or multi-stage uh, envelope, maybe like Alchemy, or um, there, there's a bunch that do, but that would probably be the way to go in that type of synth. So you just need control over that. Now, next you're gonna need to use just basic waveforms like a sine or a triangle waveform. Every synth's pretty much gonna have that. And you need some type of filter. Bandpass filter is what the Roland TR-808 used for its clap, but you could use a high pass filter, you can use a peak filter even, you can get creative with it. It's just some type of filter. So that's the general process, then maybe a little bit of saturation and reverb to kind of polish it off, right? All right, so let's get into reverse engineering this patch. So you can see here we're using all, uh, well not all three, but we're using three of the four available oscillators in here. A noise os, two oscillators running into a filter, and then there's just a lot of modulation going on. And that's basically it, and there's a little bit of effects. So these effects that I did here, especially the comb filter, that's just making it sound a little bit more modern. Um, it's not going to really, uh, you know, you don't have to have this exact effect chain to make this clap. So let's start just peeling back the layers by turning things off. So I'm gonna go and turn off our modulation here. We're gonna remove, we're gonna bypass uh, modulator LFO one, and we're gonna bypass LFO modulator four. And let's just turn the level of this up and hit direct out.
right? So it doesn't sound much like a clap anymore. All right, so let's take a listen to that now. But instead of having it just direct out on, let's let it run through our effects. You're gonna, I turned off any of the modulation with the second envelope that gives it more of a transient. So again, now you can just hear how the effects are just simply processing the noise signal, but not necessarily shaping it in terms of adding more punch or body. Right, so it's just a little bit brighter. All right, so now that we have the noise set up and you get a good, you, you can hear exactly what's going on with it, not much. It's time to go to the next step. So step two, after you load up your noise, is to set your amp envelope to be the shape that you want. You can always go back and change this, but if you want a short, punchy clap, might as well do it now with your amp envelope. If you want something with more release, more tail, set it up. Because then it's easier to set up the next step, which is your multi-segment, multi-stage envelope, or the LFO if you're using Serum. So I made this shape based off of the shape that I believe the uh, TR-808 is using for the uh, clap. Basically what they did was they used, it looked like uh, the manual was in German for some reason, so thank God for Google Translate, but it looked like they used three saw waves spaced out about 10 milliseconds apart. And I couldn't figure out exactly, you know, how many milliseconds this is in Serum. So I just messed around until it sounded right. And I basically have this shape, I have it set to envelope and for the rate, it's not selected BPM, it's set to Hertz and it's at about 20 Hertz. So then what we do is we turn the level of our noise oscillator down and we have this modulate that completely. So now let's take a listen. It's starting to get that clap sound. Now we need to reintroduce essentially the body because this is controlling our noise oscillator. This is just quickly running through and adding these kind of transient sounds. We need to get the body back in. So to do that, I used another LFO set as an envelope. Now I don't know why I did LFO one to LFO four. I think it's because I did LFO two and three doing some other things, but I would do it in sequential order. I would put these back to back if you can in your synth. So, cause it's controlling the same thing. So then what you do is you modulate the same noise source and then turn your level up just a little bit. So basically all I did was I strategically just set this to be a ramp and I turned it off for the first couple of, you know, hits of our first LFO, which is creating that those multiple transients. And it, it creates that, it gives us that tail, but allows those transients to breathe. Right. And depending on how fast or slow you set this and where you you basically set its uh, you know, maximum amplitude will have a big impact on how much of the body of the clap and the white noise you hear. So now we're starting to get this clap sound. It's starting to take shape. We need to add a little bit more punch, a little bit more transient. And to do that, you can use just basic oscillators. So I used a triangle wave and a sine wave for this video just because I wanted to show you both. I probably would only use one if I was just you know making this as a sound to release. But yeah, so basically, if we just have oscillator A on right now, we're just going to hear this. It's just adding more transient and body to the sound. Now, here's a cool tip in Serum that probably a lot of you don't know. So if I play a bunch of keys on my keyboard right now, right, the sound's not tracking. You can actually turn off key tracking for the oscillators in Serum, much like you can the noise oscillator. So you just go to the global tab, and in these, you just uncheck them. So if I turn this on, now it's going to track. And we don't want that tonality, so just turn that off. Right, so I'm using a another envelope to modulate this. Just really short, really punchy, and again, just adding some more weight to the overall sound. So here, those are layered together, and then you can adjust the taste. And I did the same thing with oscillator B. Different, different LFO, different envelope, modulating it. Different source sound here. All right, just a little bit of a click, a little bit of punch, right? And again, I turned off, if we go to the global tab, I turned off tracking for that, which is pretty, pretty helpful. So now those two together give us this, right? That's kind of like the meat, the, the mid range of the clap, if you will. So if we layer all three of those sources together. All right, so the next step is to add in those effects. Now it's important if you can with those effects that you're always Anything you add when you're trying to create this clap, try to control it with some type of envelope or LFO. So basically we see here amp envelope, um, or not amp envelope, but envelope two, it's modulating eight different destinations within the synth. So if I activate all destinations, you can see that we have a bunch of different things going on. It's, it's 
it's modulating the filter, right? It's modulating our EQ and our, our distortion. So those really add punch to the sound. So if we go to the effects tab here, and I turn off the distortion, and we turn off the EQ, It's adding a lot to the sound. Now you probably could get away without using this, without using an EQ and just get more uh, specific with your filter, maybe use a bandpass filter even. But yeah, that's just how this sound kind of came together. And I'll change this to a bandpass right now just so you guys can hear it. Be more true to the TR-808. Right, it's got that darker, kind of warmer tone. So guys, that's gonna sum up the video. If you have any questions or comments, post those below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And you know the drill. If you're not subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button, smash the notification bell so you guys get an update when we release a new video. All right, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.